fantastic meals for your family and meals that don't take a long time and don't cost a lot of money. Let's bring in the one and only Chef Michael Simon. Welcome back, sir. This is so exciting. You. It is good to be here. We're thrilled to have you back. Our Thank foodies you very have been much. talking about you since the last time you were here. I love that. And I this is amazing. That. You know what? These recipes are really inspired by a very busy lifestyle that you lead in yeah. and through all the work that you're doing. Well, you know what? It, it's like when when Kyle was growing up and when Liz and I were at home, we're crazy. We're opening restaurants. We're doing all that kind of stuff. And when we would get home, we still wanted to sit down and have dinner as a family. Mm -hmm. So this was a way we could do it. We could get meals on the table fast. We could sit down together as a family. Didn't take a ton of time. Didn't take a ton of money. And, you know, it worked. Because you were telling me that most of these can be done for $5 or less per serving. Is yeah, right? most of them are less than $5 a serving. So it's, it's really a five in five. Four or five. I love it. I love it. <laughs> now, Chef, you also split this up into seasons because yes. you wanted us to be able to really take advantage of fresh ingredients season by right. season. Is that right? Well, I think now with food, you know, when you go to the, the grocery store, we go to the market, the farmer's market, you really see food that is really seasonal. Sure. And so I really wanted to kind of showcase that. So we broke it into five seasons. Of course, we have summer, spring, uh, fall, and winter, but we also did a holiday one because I, I think. Love it. You know, as you know, a lot of people get really stressed out at the holidays. What am I going to make? What am I going to do? And Aunt gonna Judy's coming over. She's crazy. You know, so we have something that's going to make <laughs> Aunt, Aunt Judy happy. Tough. Aunt Judy, it's okay. <laughs> I don't even have an Aunt Judy thing. I don't either, but uh, that's why we're, we stay out of trouble. But you know what? What's amazing about these, again, five fresh ingredients. Now, Chef also teaches you to stock your pantry with some staple items. Yep. Because you're going to take those staple items and add to them five fresh ingredients, add five minutes of heat, and whiz, bang, boom, you're done. Absolutely. And and really what it is, is it's just kind of, you, you prepare yourself to cook. You know, you, you get a nice olive oil, some good vinegars, uh, different seasonings, and you could kind of just stock your pantry to go, and then you just build it as you go. How about we start with spring? time because right. you put together some beautiful smoothies. I did, I did, you know, I, um, my wife is a vegetarian and is as, she? You, as you know, I am a carnivore from the word go. Correct. So, uh, every once in a while I like to keep things a little healthy. So we just mix in a smoothie. You know, I tell my friends sometimes, it's okay, mix in a salad. We mix in a smoothie. All right. So, so strawberry, banana, I believe, yep, strawberry, and then blueberry. Banana. Yep, also. and blueberry. Mmm. But simple, refreshing, Easy. good. You could really benefit when the strawberries are at the peak of their season. Absolutely. And I think with smoothies, too, this is like to just show you a simple way to do it, and you put in the things that you really love. Now, let's go into summertime, because that's uh, what we're in the heart of right I now. I love summer. You do Parmesan zucchini fries. Yes. So this is a real twist on where healthy meat's fried, or in this case, baked. Yeah, and, and it wasn't even more the, the, I don't, it wasn't the healthy thing for me as much. It was who has a fryer at home? Not many people have a fryer at home, so it was to get wow. those great zucchini fries you just give them the coating you put them in that oven they get nice and crunchy you get all that great flavor from them really easy if you don't have a fryer at home well chef i need to let everyone know that 5000 books are gone i well, need we to got to get moving i know right <laughs> let me also tell you that it is a rare occasion when a 16 dollar item is on to pay so your book today is on two payments of $8.46 in honor of our Christmas in July celebration That's and fantastic. your great visit. I love that. So let's talk about something that has been calling my name since I saw it in the book. These are sweet corn summer fritters. Sweet corn summer fritters. I mean, David, what is better in oh. the summer than corn? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's sweet, it's delicious, it's fantastic. You know, you had a great idea. You said these would be great drizzled with honey. They would. Also, a little tomato salad on top of that. What is also nice, in the book would be nice, fantastic. Nice, nice. Greek yogurt would be great on these. I'm thinking, uh, uh, you know, like mm. a cheese dip. Cheese dip. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. right? They're nice and light. Oh, my gosh. And the batter is just slightly sweet. Mm-hmm. A little sweet. And the corn. Okay, ready? Happy <laughs> dance. Happy <laughs> holiday <laughs> dance. Get it. Get it. Mm, mm, mm. That's awesome. Oh, wow, got oh, a little elbow action. <laughs> All right, this is awesome. Now, you also did something special here. Mm -hmm. This is pork schnitzel, <clears throat> which is a German dish where right. basically it's a pounded pork chop breaded and fried. Yeah, right? it's, it's, it's a breaded pork chop. You know, being from Cleveland, uh, great Eastern European culture there, so schnitzel all the time. I think when people think of schnitzel, they think of like a more heartier winter dish. Mm -hmm. But I think dishes like this you could do in any season. So when peaches are rocking, do them with peaches, a little vinegar. Because it lightens it up. Lightens the whole thing up, really makes it delicious. Mm. Mm. Oh, chef. Yes. Come on. <laughs> you get some, oh man, is that good. Right, so it's 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 simple, mm. it's easy. It's like mm. for people, if, if you, if you mm. a lot of people have had schnitzel, I think, mm -hmm. but if you haven't had schnitzel, it's like any, uh, like a Milanese or a Parmesan kind of breading kind of crust. I need to tell you, a $16 item on Easy Pay is unheard of. We are awfully thrilled Michael Simon is here today. We threw some Easy Pay on this bad boy. <laughs>
7,000 books are gone now. 2,000 people just jumped on the phone lines. Feast your eyes on these gorgeous color photos. Michael, I've written two books. I know how much work is involved with this. What I'm also understanding and really amazed by is in addition to your gigantically busy workload, <laughs> you're also writing these beautiful books. The photography, the ease of use, the recipes are all on a single page. They're marvelous. Well, you know, we the, one of the things that we work so hard at is Katie Pickens, who is my culinary director, she's been with me forever, worked at Lola. We test every recipe three times in a home kitchen. Great. So to really ensure that they, they work in home kitchens, not the fancy restaurant ones that, that we cook our restaurant food out of, but at home three times, it, it really ensures that you're gonna get the book, you could trust it, you could know the recipes work, which is very important to me as a chef. They're the corn fritters. So good. <laughs> you are locked into I the corn so fritters. I am so about the corn fritters. <laughs> hey, let me tell you also that we are now 8,000 books gone, two Easy payments on the credit card. I understand there's a special holiday dish under oh. here we need to scoop oh, out. Yep, yep. Look so at that. So talk to us about this. Look at this. We have a little broccoli um, gratin, you know, a little mm. cheesy. Crusty. So you're telling me I can do this in five minutes? Five minutes. So I'm, I'm working with fresh broccoli, yes? Yeah, fresh broccoli. Look at the cheese. Come on, a little bit of crust on there. A little panko. Like a simple kind of Mornay sauce. Oh, come on. Right. Now, we're oh, shipping the book oh, on September ooh. 22nd. Look at that cheese bowl. <laughs> That's crazy. You guys. This one's for you. Get in there. Everybody, hang on. We're going to knock this out. This, I love broccoli. It's one of my oh, favorites. Oh, there we go. Whoa, boy. Oh, there you are. Come had on, to dig good. deep. I'm trying to break <laughs> off a piece here. All right. There, oh, there we go. Mm-hmm. 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 Right? And see what I love about this fresh broccoli, you don't have to buy the frozen stuff. It mm -hmm. And it still has a little bit of texture to it, even though it has all that creamy goodness that you're and used to. It got a nice bite to it with the, with the mm -hmm. cheese. Mm -hmm. 9,000 books are now gone. This is two easy payments on the credit card. Now, one thing that we know Chef Simon to be famous for is his love of meat, also his love <laughs> of pasta. Yes. So one of the recipes I requested out of the book, because I've, I've spent the last two weeks with your book. Love it, love it, love it. This is a special spaghetti with a sausage ragu, is mm -hmm. that right? Absolutely. You know, it's, and it's it's the quick version of, you know, I have a, a Greek and Sicilian mother, so we grew up eating tons and tons of pasta. She used to make a meat sauce that would cook for hours and hours that and hours, amazing. which was spectacular. But this is the quick version of it where you get good Italian sausage, you crisp it up in a pan, you add some mm -hmm. great canned, uh, like San Marzano style tomatoes, right. some extra virgin olive mm -hmm. oil, boom mm -hmm. with the pasta, five minutes, mm -hmm. you're good. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. You beat me to it. I couldn't help Have myself. Have a dare. Have a dare. Get it. Mm. 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 I tell you what, Michael Simon, everything is better than the last thing I tasted. Thank you. So, so marvelous. Walk us through some of the dishes over here, particularly in the holiday chapter. Well, you know what? I, I the, the holidays, I think, are... A wonderful time of year, but stressful for a lot of people. Sometimes sure. you have people staying at your house. You make all this food. What do I do with all this food? I don't know. So this is, um, I made a frittata with, we always do big hams at the holidays. There's always a little bit of leftover. Sure. Cut it up. You make this beautiful ham frittata with Gruyere cheese. You could have it at uh, breakfast or brunch the next morning wow. for those people that are staying at your house to relieve some of the stress. Is this rigatoni with pulled chicken? Oh, it is. Nice. Oh, yes. And a little bit of fresh oregano. You know, just another simple dish. And this is a great, you could buy rotisserie chicken if you don't you, whenever I do rotisserie chicken I'm sure yeah. you do I make a bunch of them well sure but if you don't do that you can get a rotisserie chicken at the store pull the chicken, buy a tomato of sauce there you go <laughs> hey let me tell you also that over half of our quantity is gone now this is 18 or excuse me $16.92 on easy pay we'll put that easy pay back on the screen it is a rare occasion when a book of this amount is on easy pay that's thanks to our christmas and july celebration and michael's great appearance today don't miss out on this split into spring summer winter fall and holiday 160 recipes each one five fresh ingredients yep five minutes of heat five minutes heat and you got many of them under five dollars a serving absolutely this is amazing <laughs> and no repeated recipes from your first five and five book oh no brand new recipes brand new book now, I'll tell you, we are super busy on the phone lines. Spicy beef tacos, um, oh, chicken thighs, grilled chicken thighs mm -hmm. with a blueberry salad. Yeah, another great seasonal dish. How about for the fall, some uh, some kielbasa and apples and onions? I mean, I'm a sucker for kielbasa. <laughs> I, 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 gotta, I gotta admit, smoked sausage, one of the great things in the world. And a strawberry feta onion salad with a special, is yeah, this a vinaigrette? Yeah, just a very simple uh, balsamic vinaigrette just right on top. You just toss it all together, toasted almonds, strawberries, so shaved good. red onion, spinach, fantastic. And a zucchini fry for yeah, the Yeah, these are one of my favorites. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. right. Baked, because we're healthy. We are healthy people. Look they at us. They are creamy. <laughs> They're creamy. Now, Chef Simon, 
something we do on our show, mm -hmm. we surprise our guests with trivia questions. Oh, God. How you feeling about that? Fair to Midland. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm making red velvet cupcakes. You like the one with the, with the icing that went over the side? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, we're not talking about that one. All right. All right, but we are talking about red velvet cake. Which American movie popularized red velvet cake? Was it the movie Big, The Bride of Frankenstein, Steel Magnolias, Steel Magnolias, or All About Eve? I'm going to go Steel Magnolias. You are correct. See, was, I can watch a chick flick with my wife all the time. Steel Magnolias. It was the groom's cake, and they served.